welcome here to Underkill TV here in Swansea, joined by Alex Kane and the one and only Richie Ramone. Good to see you guys. Hey, how you doing, man? Good to see you too, Alex. Oh, well, that's your opinion. <laughs> and uh, obviously, you guys are out on the road at the minute now. Uh, what's the plans, obviously, now for next year with uh, the Richie Ramone band? Huh? What's the plans next year now for you guys? Uh, we, we're going to record, we're going to tour some more, and, you know, the usual. You know, we're going to South America in February. And then we're going to come back to Europe, maybe, hopefully, May or something like that, so... Uh, pretty much every we so far we've hit um, uh, uh, Spain, Austria, Italy, the UK, Wales, and then we end up in France before we go back to LA. And we've been very fortunate in that every single place we've played wants us back, uh, in spite of our behavior, <laughs> or maybe because of it. And this really is a band sort of project as well. I mean, uh, it, you've obviously got yourself and Claire uh, in the band as well, and it really is a sort of a well-oiled machine running, isn't it? Uh, well, I just speaking for myself, and not to put any words in Richie's mouth, but um, uh, uh, this is maybe the first band I've ever been in where I see infinite possibilities of musical growth and the year that I've been able to be in the band and play with Richie and the guys um, I have seen such an evolution and such a development not only in the sound but the confidence and um, our abilities to gel as a band that I actually see there's no limits to what we're going to be able to do um, to the kind of different styles of music we're going to play if you listen to entitled the album um, you know, there's there's definitely Ramonesy kind of you know brutal punk rock, and there's heavy metal on there, and then there's some deeper stuff like Someday Girl, which is sort of like if Pink Floyd were a punk band or Jack Kerouac or whatever. So um, uh, Richie's writing is uh, really without genre and without boundaries. So um, I don't think there's any limits to what we'll be able to do together as a unit. And uh, is ideas already? Starting for a follow-up to Entitled, then, Richie? Yeah, the ideas are starting to flow. We're probably going to do an EP because it's simple. Do, like, six, seven songs and get it out there and, you know, so... Yeah, no, there's stuff going on, so it's exciting, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, you've got, your, you've got the Entitled album out at the moment. Where would be the best place to check, check the album out? Is it your own website? People can check it out through there and buy through there? It should be everywhere. It's, you know... Amazon, iTunes, anywhere, DC Jam Records, so you can find it anywhere. And how would you describe the sound? I mean, obviously, it's going to sound slightly Ramones. What else would you say would you put in? It's Ramones, but it's, a, it's, it's heavier, you know. It takes it a little further than the Ramones, you know. Uh, guitar solos, which Ramones never have, you know, some shredding and stuff like that. So it takes it a step further, I think, you know. I'm not on the album, and um, uh, uh, Tommy Boland's on the album, uh, who's a great guitar player in his own right. Um, and one of the most exciting things to me about Entitled is that, um, uh, as Richie's saying, while it will appeal to every Ramones fan out there because it has that kind of impact, but it's also, it's more contemporary, the tones are more contemporary, and it does allow for an element of musicianship that maybe wasn't apparent in the Ramones, and I'm a huge Ramones fan, so I'm not taking anything away from those guys, they're fucking gods, well I mean here's one sitting next to me, um, uh, but uh, 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 the challenging musicianship and what it does for me as a guitar player, the amount of challenge that I, I got to bring my A game every single fucking night and I got to play my fucking balls off in a way that I've never been asked to play my balls off. And I've been asked to play my balls off, you know what I mean? So, um, the anti-product date. Yeah. Um, uh, but I, I mean, I certainly do, obviously, and that's very, very close to my heart, but this is right now. Um, uh, uh, but it really demands the most of me as a musician, both from my chops, from my intent, 
which you understand from knowing me that like I don't ever fuck around um, uh, and physically it's a very demanding show um, but what that means is that you bring 110 percent of uh, <laughs> there's, no such thing. there's no such thing as 110 percent but it, it requires everything that uh, uh, a musician is capable of delivering to keep up with what he expects from us. And that's how you continue to grow and develop as a player. And uh, just since I got the chance to play with Richie and what he demands from me in the most literal sense, I've never played better guitar in my life. And I'm a guitar player, you know what I mean? You know. So here I am, 27 years old, playing better than I ever have. <laughs> What are you fucking laughing about, you fucking cunt? <laughs> Excellent stuff. And obviously, obviously, as I said, uh, this, is, this is just a lot more than just a band. As you say, it's a real stage show. I mean, you, you play the drums and you, you get up front and sing as well. So, I mean, it's, there's something there for everybody to see. It's, it's definitely a show to come and watch, isn't it? Yeah, it's really good. I mean, you know, people are loving the show. I think it's really... Uh structured perfectly right now you know and you got Claire out there doing her thing rocking like no other woman on earth is able to do uh, yeah uh, uh, just a f fantastic person bass player personality um, she has as much charisma as anyone that I've ever met um, uh, and then we got Ben Reagan who's playing guitar and drums so when uh, Richie comes out and fronts uh, Ben goes behind the drums and he's a great player awesome dude as weird as weird is I mean there's he's one of the most euphemistically speaking unique people I've ever met but he's also a, a brilliant musician and a dear friend and uh, She's going to start dancing for us in a second. Did you want to dance? Yeah, right here. You can. You want to get on the TV? Yeah, yeah, yeah please. On the, can she get on the table and dance? It's okay by me. It's okay by Richie. Can she dance briefly? No, it's okay. Can she dance? Can I dance? Yeah, please. On the table. <laughs> <laughs> Only with the Richie Ramon band. Oh, God. I'll give you an extra 20 if you pee on the table. <laughs> you just keep doing that and we'll keep doing the interview. Keep going. Next question. Keep going. It's perfect. Yeah. Next question. Next. Okay, bring a camera down. <laughs> Now, does that make it official? <laughs> it's Christmas, and uh, she's not wearing underwear. Where's your boyfriend? No, no, you're right, you're right. Oh. I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> What's your next question? We're trying to do a series um, <laughs> here in Wales tonight. And obviously, the short time the band has been going, what's been the highlight for you guys? For right now. <laughs> There we go. All right, keep the questions coming. What has been the highlight for you guys touring in the short time you've been running? Well, London was fucking amazing. London was sold out. There was sweat dripping. Out. Why did you stop? Who said stop? Is that safe, though? Is that careful? Wow, that was quite amazing. Hey, brother, how you doing? What's your name? Johnny, good to meet you, brother. Thank you. Good save, by the way. That was awesome. Um, London was... London was... She's all bummed now. Uh, I'm not wearing underwear. What the fuck? Uh, or am I? Um, but it, it won't be as much fun if I'm dancing. Or should I? Would you? No. <laughs> he actually... And then, speaking of which, highlights, we played in... What was the, the sold-out one? It was in Spain. Barca, no, not Valencia. Which one? Barcelona on the water. Which one? Is that the one? Is Barcelona on the water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it. We were dancing on the bar after the show. Yeah. And and he, we were dancing on the bar. Oh. It was fucking amazing. Uh, the girls there are beautiful. Oh, my God. Fuck me. 
um, uh, uh, but that, that was sold out and it was crazy and the kids went in fucking sane and uh, I've always maintained you're only as good as your audience you know what I mean and uh, uh, but Italy was amazing we played in Padova we played in Rome that was sold out this is our first time that we've done these cities and uh, and you know and you, we're playing respectably sized venues we didn't know what to expect and uh, the kids are just coming down and when I say kids I mean you know 16 to 60 everybody fucking loves the Ramones and that's what gets them in the door and then we get on stage and we fucking just kick ass and um, uh, it's been three and a half weeks so far um, but it's like four months of life condensed into three and a half weeks so you asked me for a specific highlight then there was a place in Austria we played at a biker bar in Austria on a Sunday, and I don't remember, except at one point, I opened my eyes, and he was filming me with a camera, and apparently I was playing guitar through the PA for about two hours. Uh, we were fucking wasted, for sure. But, you know, my first thing is, like, I want to play guitar, and the only realization that I was doing what I was doing was like suddenly I felt somebody next to me and it was Richie and he was filming me and that's when I became aware of the fact oh fuck what am I doing here it was like teleportation or something but it's all been a highlight every show has something to remember um, something that makes your life worth living what we get to do is uh, uh, only speaking for myself, but it makes me feel so fortunate that I get to play rock and roll with a genuine living legend who is seeing things that I can only dream of and imagine, you know what I mean? Um, so every fucking night counts, and every night you come away with something. But those are just, you know, some of the moments that in... It, it'll take me a month to process everything uh, uh, to, to really be able to sort of delineate what was like a high point and whatever. But uh, it's all been good, and Italy was amazing. Spain was fucking amazing. The UK is shaping up to be amazing. You know what I mean? So it's all—it's it, a—it's a, a, a life made of uh, high points and memories, and I wouldn't trade it for anything, seriously. But you know that about me already, so. And one thing I was going to ask before we wrap the interview up, um, obviously with your music. Uh, What's the reaction? I mean, obviously the crowd, and especially the younger audience, are going to go wild for the um, for the classic Ramon song. But what is it like when they when you're getting your music across to them? They're really taking it in with open arms. Well, I think they are, but you know, it's really uh, with any band. If you're hearing a song for the first time, I don't care what any band. It's it's harder to digest, you know. And but they. Uh, I see them swaying and moving their heads to a song they never fucking heard before. And that's what's impressive, you know, that, okay, they're getting it. But, you know, you got you to gotta hear a song a few times before you're really going to go crazy. But I think they like it because our music complements the Ramones. And it's just seamless the way they just flow. You know, I think some people don't know what's a Ramones song and what is a Richie Ramones song. So, you know one song forgotten years which is like I don't think you'd actually confuse it for a Ramones tune but every single night dude when we do that song the you see the whole audience bouncing and and it's the first time they're hearing it but it's like a very it's a very sort of groove oriented and I hope I'm not speaking out of turn here but it's almost kind of Zeppelin -y punk yeah, but it's just like a pocket tune, and nobody fucking plays the drums like this guy. Nobody fucking plays the drums like him. Um, and so once he gets down there and he's fucking throwing down the pocket, and you just see all the pretty girls, and they're bobbing their heads, and the dudes are moshing. It's fucking awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, they're not like this, you know. So, so that's a good thing. Yeah, and that stance is unacceptable. That stance will never fucking go down. <laughs> At a Richie Ramon show, definitely yeah, not. not work. <laughs> no, the, other, the other night, I was up front singing, and I saw two guys talking. I hit him with the mic, and I jumped right down and said, you can't talk while I'm performing. You know? Did you see that? <laughs> but, 
punched into the head. And then they were hugging. Like when he jumped into the audience, the guy was like, yeah, you're actually right. And then the guy threw his arms around Richie. It was fucking, it was like one of those moments that like, yeah. first of all, I got to say, it was one of those moments that you only see in rock and roll. And second of all, I got to say, it's one of those moments that you only see in rock and roll in the UK. Because there's something special about playing in the UK. And, uh, and that was one of those moments where the dude was like, yeah, what the fuck am I doing? I'm talking, and these guys are, you know what I mean? And they had their arms around each other. It was so brilliant. It was amazing. Amazing. Excellent stuff. Well, guys, thank you very much for dropping by. Yeah, you're and, and thank you for the glass of water. <laughs> you're very welcome as well. And uh, we, hope to see you, we hope to see you guys back in the UK in 2015. As I say, those that haven't checked out the Richie Ramone Band, please log on to this address right here. Check out, check out the band. This is Alistair from Underkill TV signing out with the one and only Richie Ramone and Alex Kane. Thanks, guys.